Hi, I'm a field applications engineer with LDRA, and today I'm going to be talking about the LDRA productivity package for automotive, and specifically how we can provide solutions for the ISO 26262 standard. If we take a closer look at the ISO 26262 testing requirements organized by ASIL level, we can see that we have five different ISO requirement categories that we need to comply with, those being static analysis, code coverage, regression testing, testing environment, and documentation and traceability. For static analysis here, we can see that at ASIL A, this is optional, but by the time we get to ASIL C, it becomes mandatory to ensure compliance with any coding standards. And at ASIL D, it also requires a comprehensive analysis, including data and control flow reports. If we look at code coverage, we can see that we start with basic statement coverage at ASIL A, which increases in rigor up to MCDC coverage at ASIL D, which is the most stringent level. For regression testing, ASIL A just uses simple basic checks, while at ASIL D it's much more thorough to ensure safety critical features are stable with each change of your source code. When it comes to the testing environment, ASIL A and B can rely on very simplified or simulated environments, but as we move into ASIL C and D, testing needs to happen in real world or highly representative environments to make sure that we maintain accuracy and realistic conditions. For documentation and traceability, the requirements increase from minimal at ASIL A to highly detailed and formal at ASIL D, where full traceability from requirements and test cases and source code is all required. If we take a look at the different LDRA tools and solutions available in the LDRA Automotive Productivity Package, we can see that LDRA actually has a comprehensive set of tools to meet any of these requirements at any ASIL level. And having all of these solutions under one set of tools, under one tool suite, if you will, will help to internally standardize your documentation, making compliance easier. It'll help to streamline the time to compliance because you don't need to switch between various different tools and have your personnel learn many different tools. And in the end, it will also save you money because you're purchasing one set of tools instead of five different sets of tools to do five different things. So let's go and take a look at how the LDRA productivity package for automotive can help you do all of these various requirements. The automotive productivity package comes with over 30 different coding standards, as well as the ability to create custom rules and custom coding standards yourself to suit your needs. From MISRA C to CWE, I'm sure you'll find something that you like. Once you've selected your coding standard and ran your static analysis, we can take a look at it through a code review. In one of these code reviews, each of these violations is organized by an LDRA phase code. And this view allows us to double click and open any of these violations at the actual source line in our source code. If we'd like to exclude any of these violations, we can do so by simply right clicking and going to violation exclusions and excluding that individual violation. This ensures that we can fix our code in a timely manner and get rid of any of these violations that don't apply to us. If we're looking to get some code coverage information, we can do that one of two ways. The first way is to run dynamic analysis on our code. This uses whatever compiler you have selected, in my case, MinGW, and we can execute our code as we normally would. Once our dynamic analysis is complete, we can take a look at some code coverage results. And we can see that we have code coverage for statement, branch decision, and modified condition decision coverage, or MCDC. It's important to note that we can also run this dynamic analysis on whatever target we choose to run it on. If we need to run this on an embedded target in order to meet, say, the qualifications for a SIL level D, then we can do that with a target license package. This effectively acts as the bridge between LDRA and whatever IDE or target you decide to use. The other way to obtain coverage is to use TB Run, which is our unit testing software. By starting TB Run interactively here, I'm bringing all of my analysis results from TB Vision over into TB Run, and I will maintain any code coverage that I've gathered. If I'd like to see some additional coverage, I'll have to run some test cases. So I've gone ahead and imported four test cases here from an existing file. All of these test cases already have 
their inputs and their expected outputs associated with them. So I can go ahead and run these test cases. This will run our test cases on whatever compiler, IDE, or embedded board we've decided to run them on in whatever mode we set them to. So with our test cases passed, we can scroll down to the add product function that we were testing, and we can see that we have 100% coverage associated with it. This is the power of TB run. With our test cases regressed, we might want to take a look at some of the reports that we've generated along the way of running all of these analysis phases. So I'll open up my TB reports window, and we can see that we have various different reports available to us. Specifically, we have code review reports for static analysis. We have code coverage reports from dynamic analysis and unit testing. We also have standard specific reports for ISO 26262 specific to whatever ASIL level you might need. We also have various different static coding standard reports if these are of interest to you, as well as various different security reports if you're interested in cybersecurity. Thanks for watching my short presentation on the LDRA productivity package for automotive. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at LDRA.com. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube for more videos just like this one. Thanks again, and have a nice day.